Thank you for joining me again. I'm with Trevor Armstrong from Murdoch University in Perth. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, before you got to university, you were part of the Clontarf program, and I've heard a bit about this earlier today, and it sounds very inspiring and amazing. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Well, the Clontarf Foundation is actually a foundation started for young Indigenous uh, men mm -hmm. to uh, mentor and encourage them to get their, make their way through high school. Um, through just common things that they like to do uh, with their free time. So football, training, fitness, those kinds of things and getting them onto school social trips, so those kinds of things where it's encouraged to have an 80% attendance rate um, so that they can actually attend these um, fun trips uh, during well, after school hours and such. Um, I actually went through this program, not much of a football guy, but mm -hmm. more along the lines of just attending everything else. Um, and in doing that, I've just kept a really good networking relationship with Contaf and uh, I've done lots of uh, uh, speaking events with those guys. Um, and I've just kept in contact with them ever since I finished high school and while I've been in university. Sure, I'm going to ask, what are you studying now at Murdoch? I'm doing a double major in cyber forensics, information security management, and internet working security. It's pretty yeah. good. It's, it uh, sounds like it's a huge workload, but uh, obviously it's going to be very rewarding. Yeah, at times yeah. it gets like that. It's yeah. uh, a bit of a cool down in your social life, but it's good. <laughs> well, there's plenty of social life to come, I'm sure. I hope so. So, I understand everyone uh, heard about the program through email, the Huawei Season for the Future program. So, you looked at that and you must have said, yeah, I want to be part of it. Yeah, actually, I first off got a phone call from uh, Clontarf asking if I've heard about this program. Uh -huh. um, and he asked me if I wanted to uh, speak to one of the representatives on the program. So I actually was lucky enough to get, uh, get the email after the phone call. Right, right. And I was lucky enough to get an interview with Lisa. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. From Huawei, yeah. From Huawei. And yeah. the story continues from that. I've somehow led my way to Shenzhen. Absolutely. So you've been here, as I've said to all the other students, for a couple of weeks now. You're in Beijing, learning Mandarin, yeah. some of the culture, and you've been to Shenzhen and the museum, and you've seen Huawei and the headquarters and the 5G and the IoT. So what what uh, memories have stuck in your mind of this last couple of weeks? Well, obviously all the, uh, the big advancements in tech and the uh, software-defined radio have been really, really amazing to me because I haven't seen this kind of thing before. It's mm. one of the things that I've really thought about in my degree is security and stuff. And that or also to think about, okay, what hardware side of things is there to think about? Um, but honestly, uh, the culture of China has been one of the funny things. Uh, just recently, I actually told the story over like, dinner earlier. Uh, one of the hardest things for me while in my stay here was actually trying to find a place to wash my clothes. Yeah. So I didn't, obviously, I didn't bring enough clothing. For right, yeah. Weeks. So we ended up, um, a few of us ended up going out a few loads of washing to try and find a laundromat. Yeah. It didn't end up uh, being that, as, that easy. Yep. The uh, translation ended up turning into dry cleaning, so we got led around to three or four dry cleaning areas. Sure, sure. Eventually, the last person who uh, we asked and actually showed us to uh, washing a laundromat area uh, actually took us to another dry cleaners. So she actually offered us to come into her house and actually wash our clothes with her. Right. Um, we were there for an hour and a half. Um, but she was very helpful to... She, she offered us tea. We drank tea for an hour and a half. We had candy. It was amazing. But the hospitality was off the charts. Um, I'm hoping a lot of people in Australia will do the exact same thing. So just a couple more questions. Uh, how do you see technology evolving in the future, especially in the fields of your study? In the field of my study, security is going to be uh, an ever evolving it's going to be getting harder and harder for security professionals to protect networks, uh, computers, uh, personal data, prevent social engineering, all those kinds of uh, threats and risks. Uh, we're all going to have to find new ways of managing these. And with the, uh, with the invention that the implementation of faster networks such as 5G, it's going to be a lot harder to spot these things without preventing the flow of data. So, mm. I see it becoming uh, an area where software is going to be playing a major role in the security preventive measures. And uh, so, do, if I could just ask if you have any final messages, not just for ITY readers and viewers, and not just for Murdoch University students, but also students from the Clontarf Foundation. Um, stick to it, guys. Um, as long as you stick to it and don't give up, you'll get things done. Um, and if you get a chance, visit, uh, visit China or other parts of Asia. It's pretty good. It's a completely different culture. Sure. Trevor, thank you very much. Thank you.